Alrighty, I'm here with Star Anna, and she just played in a pretty impressive show here in Chapel Hill. And this is your uh, first time, right? First time, yep. And uh, how far, how much do you like uh, North Carolina so far? Uh, what I've seen, I really enjoy. Uh, I mean, we haven't gotten out much because these tours and long drives, it's pretty much into the club and set up and play and then drive in the dark and sleep in a hotel and then get up and go. And <laughs> so I, occasionally we'll get, a, get out, kind of walk around the area, but that's about the extent. So you've been doing this for how, uh, this tour for how long now? Uh, I think we're three weeks, and we've got a week left, so, yeah, three weeks so far. Awesome. <laughs> uh, so you enjoyed it so far? Met some yeah. pretty good people? No, it's been great. Um, it's our first time coming east, and um, it's just been, it's been really fun. We've had some really good, cool shows, and, yeah. And you're touring with a new CD right now. You want to tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, um, uh, it's called Alone in This Together. We put it out in July. Uh, we worked for a while on it. Actually, a lot of the songs we've kind of had for the last two years, and we've been playing them at shows, and kind of kept having plans to put the record out, and uh, kind of kept coming up against walls. And um, So finally, we were lucky enough to um, do a couple of benefit shows with Mike McCready, the guitar player from Pearl Jam, and he really took a liking to us. And one thing led to another, he wanted to know when the next record was coming out, and we didn't know, and so he kind of made that happen for us, and he plays on it, and um, yeah, he was just a big part in getting that, getting it out, finally. Awesome, awesome. So uh, you have a pretty good uh, close relationship with Mike McCready then, huh? Yeah, yeah, I consider him a good friend, and he's just a really, really neat um, guy, and he's just been incredibly supportive of the band, and um, yeah, it's he's a really great person, and he's helped us out a lot. So the tour's almost over, you got a couple more shows left, you have to go home. Seven. Seven? Ooh, seven days like the ring. That's, that might not be that good then. Seven. Yeah, if it's anything like the movie, then no, it's not that good. <laughs> So, any uh, future plans for the band? Uh, what's next? Um, well, we're going to get home and not talk to each other for at least a week. Uh, <laughs> and then, uh, no, and then we'll probably uh, just start working on the, you know, material for the fourth record and um, play mostly locally and uh, around Seattle and stuff. And, um, yeah, just kind of take it easy and, and work on the next record and see what we can do. Awesome, awesome. Now, being on tour and being on a bus, or while well, you guys are in a small van right now, uh, going cross country, you must have time to listen to some music and everything. Uh, what are you What are you listening to right now? Uh, um, well, gosh, we don't put much on. Uh, this tour, we finally discovered you can roll the music uh, all the way to the back of the van or all the way to the front. So a lot of the times we've got music going on in the half front half and uh, a lot of headphones. But we did. Um, get the new Ryan Adams record, and uh, we've listened to that a couple of times, and it's really good. Uh, who knows, I've been listening to lots of Frank Black, uh, Teenager of the Year, because it's a really amazing CD, but it's also uh, the only one I brought this time, because I got all my other ones, but <laughs> that's okay. That's uh, one time I was stuck on a train with the, uh, oh, I can't remember, the guy who sings Crazy. Oh, uh... Gnarls Barkley. Yes. I was stuck on a train for two, three hours with uh, that CD. That's all I had. So Frank Black is an okay CD. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. So you're touring all the time with a bunch of guys. How is that for a little lady like yourself? Uh, well, they're pretty disgusted and offended most of the time, so I feel pretty bad about that. Uh, no, it's fine. I mean, I... It's, uh... You know, we haven't killed each other yet, and um, we're all about the same same amount of grossness, so it works. Awesome. <laughs> well, let me ask you this. Now, if I was to not have not heard you before and not came to a show, how would you describe yourself to someone that hasn't heard you that would make them want to listen to you? Oh, um, this is such a tricky. I mean, this is a tricky question. I always feel like. Well, I mean, are you like kind of like Culture Club in a way? Oh, or? totally, one hundred percent. No, um. <laughs> I don't know. We like. I mean, we like to to think of ourselves as a rock and roll band. I guess sort of Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, 
uh, vibe, just in, you know, it's rock and roll, it's not like rock music, or, you know. Sure. A lot of times we get uh, pinned as a alt-country. Okay. Um, Amer- Americana, which really for the past three or four years isn't accurate. I think we just, that was our first record, and, and um, we've become a lot more rock and roll since then. Um, yeah. Awesome, it's, awesome. Well, everyone's got to start somewhere, you know? Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, it's, it's not a bad thing. We just, we uh, went in a different direction after that. So, now, do you have someone waiting for you at home? Um, yeah, I do. And uh, how is it being away from that person? It sucks. <laughs> it sucks. Um, but, you know, uh, we talk every day, and uh, and it's a good, it's a good healthy thing we both do. We both have things going on in our lives that are important, that we're passionate about, and uh, so, you know, neither of us is, is uh, sitting around waiting and being bored, but... Uh, no, it's good. It's, it's really good to know I get to go home soon and, and see him. Awesome. One final question. Tomorrow you have the ability to open up for any band at any arena anywhere in the world. Who are you opening up for, or who's opening up for you, and where are you playing the show? Oh, my gosh. Um, that's a tough one. Any band that's not even a uh, band anymore. Or they, could be, be, they could be. They could be dead. We can have zombies on stage if you want. Um. Well, it would be a. It would be a. It would be a four band bill. Okay. And uh, oh wait, sorry, five band. <laughs> and it would be. Uh, it would be the Ramones and the Pixies and uh, Tom Petty and Heartbreakers and Pearl Jam. And would you close it or would you open up for them? Oh, I'd open so I could just relax and watch all the rest of them be amazing and kick ass. Awesome. Well, if you haven't heard her, she's online. You can check her out at StarAnna.com. And uh, that's that. Check her out on the store if you can. If not, she'll be hitting your town maybe next year.